Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jordy. Back here, one of my day one friends, yeah, cousin, yee. family, <laughs> Johnny. Up? We made a previous, one of my very first videos I ever made. He was in it and now um, we're doing another trip. This time we're not hauling the trailer, it's power only, somewhat. I'm, yeah, power only technically I guess you could call it. And they're telling us to go to Deer Park. And if today is actually March the 18th, 2019, and if you're in the area, you somewhat know what has happened in the Deer Park area. Unfortunately, one of the plants here had an explosion, and I believe it was two days ago on the 16th. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure. But what I do know for a fact is that they're just gonna let the fire just burn itself out for some reason I think I don't know if they can't put it out or something like that I haven't really paid attention that much to the news I know I'm sorry that's very irresponsible of me but what I do know is that the air here is clean to breathe and I'm not in that much of harm if, if, and not in that much of harm's way the only bad thing is I got to deal with a lot of traffic which I am hitting right now so let's see how long it takes to hit these 20 miles it's about apparently 45 minutes so We'll see what happens. You can actually see a big old cloud of dark, well, big old dark cloud in front of us, and it's not rain. It's not rain. It's intimidating. It it honestly is a little bit tad bit scary. I'm supposed to turn here, but I'm gonna just hit the next light, I guess. Let's go. Watch out. Excuse me. But anyways, oh, let's, right, we're about to figure it out. But yeah, so we're about to hit the deer park. Um, when the when my broker friend called me and tell me told me he had this load, he's all like, hey, go to Deer Park, pick up, and then drop off in Beaumont. I'm like, hey, is there gonna be enough time? It's already 5 p.m. He's all like, they got you, they'll wait for you, so don't worry about it. And I'm all like, I also told him, hey, isn't there also this situation that happened in Deer Park? He's like, yeah, but everything's fine, don't worry about it. I'm like, can you bump up the rate a little bit? Cause it's kind of like sketchy. And he's like, of course, you know, he was already gonna pay me a little bit more because it's not really dangerous. It's just, it just seems scary, I guess, but whatever let's get this um show on the road got 21 miles it's probably gonna take us an hour to get there because everybody here in houston is a horror oh my god there's a train coming right now oh well what can we do we gotta wait so yeah anything else you want to say in the intro yeah <laughs> okay why don't you show up the cloud i'm about to in a second but yeah anyways um let's get moving all right so the way we're going we just got barricaded by a train that is not moving whatsoever and I had to bust a U, and now I got another 30 minutes to go, which is like a 15 mile drive. So hopefully the route I'm going now is a correct way I can go. I called the gentleman already. I told him, hey, you know the situation that's going on here locally. So could you give me a little bit more time? He's like, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We got you. And yeah, so now we're working our way and getting there. We should get there pretty soon. So let you know when we get there. And that's all the smoke there is, bro. Hold on, wait, wait till I turn. Wait till I turn to the right. You're about to see what it is. Hey, I thought it was a little bigger than that. Uh -huh. Oh okay. my god! <laughs> Damn, that is crazy. What you gotta say about it, bro? That's crazy, but what can you do? It's it's the plant. They knew what there was gonna happen. I mean, not that they knew that was gonna happen, but you know, they're, they're prepared. Right. So, what can you do? And they're just gonna let it die off. Yeah, that's what I, last thing I read on the news was they can't really contain it, I guess, or maybe they can, but they're just gonna let it burn out. Because from what I heard was, the chemical that's burning is an additive for gas. So it's not, um, I guess, so dangerous per se, but you know, don't quote me, I'm not a scientist. But I'm not gonna lie, the closer, the little bit closer we get to that, it's a little bit more and more intimidating, so. Yeah, it does look a little bit intimidating. That's just crazy. I hope everybody's okay. Hopefully.
I don't damage these lines or damage anything. Mainly tied down the pallet right there. That's what this one's mainly for. To hold the rigidity. And then this one to hold the machine in place. Give it a little move. We're all good to go. So let's get moving. All right, so we just got loaded with this little generator looking thing, only two straps, one on the pallet, one on the actual machine itself. The one on the machine itself is it's snug, but not tight because there are hoses on this machine and I'm not gonna say this machine's brittle, but I'm gonna just put something on top so the machine doesn't really shake while I'm driving. The one on the pallet is stern and stern. It's firm and steady, so we should be good to go. Only about 72 miles to get there, about an hour, 15, put it about an hour and a half because I'll probably hit up one quick little pit stop. If not, I'll just do it straight through. And yeah. And as for this fire, it is crazy, but it's contained. There's nothing really major to worry about. So we're all good. So yeah, now let's just go finish this trip, drop this thing off. So I, then we can head back to the house. Sorry for the lighting, it's a little bit dark, but we just offloaded. It's 8 p.m. right now. It's gonna take us about two hours to get home, probably about two and a half, maybe three, because we still gotta get food, get some drinks. We still gotta use the restroom because we did a straight hot load, did everything. Um, we actually came and dropped off, not at the rentals place, but at the house of one of the rent, of the at the house of one of the drivers of the rentals place. It was just five minutes down the street. I didn't charge extra because it was either I drive these like five minutes down the street or I wait like maybe 20, 30 minutes at their lot for them to show up. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm a little bit tired. I'm hungry. I really need to go to the restroom. So I'm gonna just meet this guy at his house. We'll drop off the pilot, which is what we did. And the gentleman was pretty cool. But yeah, with that um, quick little recap, we went to Deer Park. It was a little bit scary. The, the closer we got to Deer Park, the, the actually a little bit scarier it felt and more real it felt but we were like kind of across the street from the plant that blew up. But you know, hopefully um, everybody was is safe from the situation and nothing bad happens, you know? And yeah, this will probably be the outro. Uh, John, you got anything to say? Had a blast. Thank you. All I'll right. See y'all next time. Till the next one. Y'all stay safe. God bless. And let's see what the big plan is for the future. Bye.